The Aruku coffee has been giving one of the best coffees which has been savored by coffee connoisseurs all over the world which is getting more prominent uh, because of the organic texture which gives it to its cupping uh, profiles. So the Aruku coffee is getting more famous because it is inclusive coffee which comes from the tribals exhibiting the different terroirs of the uh, Aruku Valley. Uh, Aruku by nature is default. People uh, follow practices like uh, zero budget natural farming where they uh, uh, do all traditional methods. Also they, they don't uh, uh, encourage in uh, use of chemicals and other uh, products which are actually harmful to the uh, environment. So we as a TechnoSurf, we have been working with them uh, for almost uh, three and a half years. This is a four year project by Walmart. So we along with 36, uh, we built a platform where we are actually uh, tracking each and every detail of the smallholders right from the, uh, the area where they grow, the geographic uh, components like the variety, the soil type and uh, other uh, livelihood factors and then we actually track it and then when the procurement uh, is done, uh, we track the same thing over the uh, QR code which is actually uh, tracked through the transportation to the buyer and finally it is, can be tracked up to the cup when a, uh, when a consumer drinks the coffee. So we want to improve their livelihood through this improved quality and the production enhancement of this coffee fields and these farmers we see that get the better price in the market. And also the most important thing what happens in, uh, in our blockchain technology in Tracex is we are able to geotag each and every farm accurately to where they produce. So this helps in managing the farmer's uh, database to the accuracy. So that uh, derives a lot of authenticity that uh, this coffee comes from the right, uh, right farm and this is a farmer. That is the most uh, critical component going ahead so that the farmer, uh, I mean the farmer will be able to uh, have a sort of ownership about uh, his own coffee what he sells in the market. In this supply chain, traceability plays a very important role. For example, a coffee is coming from which place? Who are all the supply chain holders who are holding that coffee in their custody? How they are treating it, how they are bagging it, how it is being dispatched. And the person who is sitting in the, uh, either in India or abroad, the person who is drinking that coffee, he should be able to know that his coffee is coming from which part of India, which part of Andhra Pradesh, even which district and which farmers feel. So traceability always helps them to understand there is a particular region in India where the coffees are growing, there is a particular group of people who is putting an effort in bringing the coffees. From there, it's a, it's a lot of like work they are doing and from step by step, when it comes to a cup, traceability kind of covers the entire chain. So I would say it's a future of coffees where we can connect a producer to an end customer who's the, uh, who's the one who's like consuming the coffees, rewarding the coffees and appreciating the coffees. With the help of like Techno7 and Tracex, we have been able to achieve that. The Aruku smallholder farmers are the guardians of biodiversity. So they have been uh, holding this uh, biodiversity uh, of this region over the years. And as part of our uh, regenerative agriculture policy from TechnoServe, we are encouraging them to follow the same practices through our agronomic training and also the post-harvest uh, training what we impart to them. So we needed a platform and we have partnered with uh, Tracex to actually to collect the, the critical components of uh, information which is required to uh, ensure that the smallholders continue protecting the biodiversity. So these components of uh, data what we actually collect which will be transferred to the buyers and the buyers will be able to actually give the premium back to the smallholders. By this the livelihood or the living income of the farmers will increase and uh, they will actually sustain the interest in actually protecting this biodiversity for future years to come.